Hello everyone and welcome to Tips, Tricks, and Tools, a series that shows off cool tips and tricks or highlights a particular tool that I found very useful in my day-to-day -day as a web developer. Today we will be highlighting the tool Tmux, a terminal multiplexer. Don't let that scare you, I'm just going to go over the basics of the tool and how I use it on a daily basis. As a developer, the chances of me juggling multiple projects is always pretty high. I have my own personal projects, and at work, it's pretty common for me to be juggling multiple projects at a time. If you're like me, all these projects probably use some tool that requires you to be in your terminal, be it Grunt, Git, NPM, Bower, whatever you may use. And this makes it a bit difficult to jump around multiple projects with relative ease. That's where the power of Tmux comes into play. First, I want to show off Sessions. Sessions is a great way for you to keep dev environments separate without the need for multiple terminal windows or tabs. So let's say I start my day early and I want to get some work done on a personal project. For the sake of simplicity, we'll assume that I have no sessions created already, and I'll have my terminal window open, and I'll type the following to make the session called personal. The dash S lets you name that. Now you'll see the terminal looks exactly the same, except that there's a bar down at the bottom, which we refer to as the command bar. So I'll get started by going into my personal project and Let's say I spent an hour working, and now it's time for me to work on actual work. Currently, I'm already in a Tmux session, so I can't just write new work for a new session. You'll see that Tmux complains about sessions being nested. Instead, we can do Control B colon, and our cursor will move to the command bar. Now we can type out, without Tmux in the beginning, new dash s work to create a new session labeled work. And you'll see that we have a completely new window when we're back in our home directory. And now we can go ahead and navigate to our work project. So let's say I thought of a neat idea for my personal project and I want to jump in on my lunch and make a quick change. We enter the command mode again by hitting control B colon and we type switch dash T, which lets you specify which target and personal is the session we want to go into and we hit enter. And you'll see it puts us right back where we left off. We can even see the previous error when we tried to make a nested session. You can already start to see how this tool makes juggling environments a breeze, but there's one last thing I want to highlight before you rush to fool around with Tmux yourself, and that's panes. I'm going to switch back to my work session for this example real quick. And as I said earlier, I'm often working on two or more projects at a time while working, but having multiple sessions for each project seems a bit overkill to me most of the time. Panes lets me work with multiple projects all in one terminal window. I'll enter the command mode, and I will type out split window. So now we have two panes in our one session, and I can work in a completely different directory in this newly created pane that you see my cursor is active in. So above, I'm working in project one, and I will just jump into project two. And so I can do a brand new, initialize a git repo in here, and nothing is being affected in the pane above for project one. I can move around the panes by sending the command. If we go back into the command mode, I can say select pane and give it a flag of whatever direction I want in uppercase. So if I want to go up, since I'm on the bottom pane, I would do select pane dash U and it'll bring my cursor up to the top pane. Hopefully you can see how helpful Tmux can be in your workflow, and if you spend a little extra time learning the shortcut keys, you can do everything I've shown without the need to type out a single command. There will be a link below in the description for Tmux, as well as some useful cheat sheets, configurations, and hacks that you can use to make Tmux even more powerful. If you find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, as I'll always be nerding out over some new shiny tool that makes my daily life that much easier. Thanks for watching!